the idea actually came about in, I believe, October of 2008 when uh, we were freshmen and Fresh TV was going on. And uh, one of our co-creators, Tim Mullen, uh, thought of like the concept of a daily show kind of research uh, of someone, you know, kind of like a news anchor that really, it's like the fake news broadcast. And then came along, along the other two creators, uh, Jay Light and Catherine Creedon, and uh, the three of them kind of evolved the idea together. And then I came on as director when uh, I knew three of them as friends, and they came up to me and approached me in uh, winter term of 09, actually. And, and we're really trying to, I guess, present issues and have student organizations involved. We had a healthcare episode with all the healthcare debacle and stuff going on. We had an episode where we hunted for Sasquatch, one where some guy thinks he can speak German. So it's, and we have fake interviews in between too, because the whole entire goal, I feel, is to really bring a sense of comedy to Elon University students, but at the same time, you know, support organizations and bring exposure to them with hilarious and vulgar effects, of course, in an appropriate manner. <laughs> If you, if you look at, you know, New York University's film program, USC, like, students had the access to do this, but the fact that Elon University gave us materials as freshmen and really trusted us and backed us up, and now we have a budget, now we're on ESTV, you know, it's, it's so great to be a part of a community of all these shows. The satisfaction of your final product, you could still have your same creative input, but at the same time, you need to know your key audience. The fact that we're now a viral show and we run, you know, on YouTube and we have, we're in the web 2.0 phase with the Twitter, the Facebook and the blog and all that. We even have fake blogs for some of our characters. Um, it, it really has evolved into something bigger. What I love is we only work with two acting majors on the show and uh, very, very good people. Uh, Brandon Lee Tanker and Julia Gallagher, they're very, very funny. But then the rest is just really kids that are very funny and really just want to make the show happen. Like our character, Max Gongaware, also known as Random Guy, he gets his name changed every single episode. And has really witty one-liners, like one of my favorite things this season, and I didn't think it was funny even filming it until I watched it in post-production two months later, was where one of our main guys goes, guys, what's going on? We need some answers. And he just awkwardly says, we should get Alan Iverson in here. And I didn't get that, but he was referencing the shoe, the answer from the year 2002 that was popular. For, and like just things, little, little things like that. Like when you go back into the show and watch things like that, like our most recent episode of Healthcare, Woolneth, like doing a <laughs> Don't Stop Believing montage. Of course, only 30 seconds of the song because we're a student show, so we need to cut it off. It's just really ridiculous improv things would still a structure that come by today. We're continuing season two this semester, gonna probably end it by May. We're planning to do three, maybe four episodes. We have little webisodes and stuff like that. Winter term, we have taken a little bit of a hiatus, but we're still working on material right now. Uh, a few promos, our website's going up. A lot of our cast and crew is abroad currently, so it's a good time to work with footage that we have. But we have some wonderful ideas. We have a shoe episode written by our writer, Suzanne Lassis, which was one of the funniest scripts I've read. And like, I think that the only conflict of interest with the show is really taking a writer's script and taking, I guess, the improv. I have these, this thing. I do the scripted take, my take, and the actor's take. And it really depends on what can work out sometimes. You know, I'm a film guy. That's why it's, TV is a new exposure to me. But in the past decade, the, the type of shows that have established on cable is, is absolutely extraordinary. Like, I'm, I'm just talking from comedy, from like Office to 30 Rock, even to Lost. To Mad Men, I just recently got into unbelievable show, and you know Entourage, which is really what got me into liking TV shows and doing seasons. Um, if you're out there, you know, and you're a college student, you know, if you watch Gilmore Girls, cool, Gossip Girl, I, I love it. You know, I have a fun. I, I don't, I can't say I like it, but it is a well-written show. But um, honestly, I feel like just as literature was at that time, I love books. Television shows there's so much quality and talent and time and commitment and effort that goes into everything. I feel like that was the best thing of last decade. Get into other TV shows, get into ours. TV is awesome and the internet really embrace Web 2.0. If you're a college student today, I, my parents don't know how to use their computer that well. And my dad's a senior computer analyst, but like Hulu, embrace it, internet, TV, arts. Get it done. That's all I can say, really. My name is Raj Rawl. I'm a sophomore here at Elon University, and I am a cinema major, and I'm completely excited to still be directing Newsbreakers.